Jared Eisenman, who's the founder of Shift4 Payments, has already had a mission to space. Inspiration4 was a four-person crewed mission to space, and they orbited the Earth a bunch of times. And on top of the crew dragon that they were all inside of, there was this giant dome, the largest window that's ever been put into space with people behind it. They got to look out. They got to take photos through this domed bubble window. But now this new one is Polaris Dawn program. This is even better. They're going to be doing an EVA outside of the capsule, which means go outside of the capsule, which is amazing, which hasn't been done before on a private space flight. So here you can see Jared doing some testing, right? So Jared in the Polaris Dawn program tweeted this. Our crew completed this first week of EVA training, practicing maneuvers necessary to move in and out of Dragon during a spacewalk. They also reviewed development of EVA technology and lessons learned from the last 50 years. And there will be four people on this mission, but how many people will be going outside of the capsule? And who gets to be that lucky person? So down here in the tweet, is the whole capsule going to be depressurized during the EVA? And how many of you are planning to perform the spacewalk? SpaceX Ninja, SPXCX247. Uh, all four, they say? Jared responds, correct. The entire cabin will vent down to vacuum, and there will be two crew members that will exit the vehicle. So basically, they're going to be exposed to space. They're going to open up the top of the capsule. Everybody inside is going to be exposed to space and the harshness of it. They'll be in spacesuits, and two people will exit the vehicle. Now, he did go into detail about how many people are going out at the same time. Is it going to be one person? Or is it going to be two people? The buddy system seems like a really good idea when you're doing a spacewalk. So I'm assuming there's going to be two people out there. And as you can see, they've also implemented these grab bars. As you're climbing out of the capsule, pull yourself up and slowly make your way outside of the capsule and into the vacuum of space. Now let's go into a little bit more detail about the Polaris Dawn program. This is from their website. Uh, the mission is coming no earlier than March of 2023, and there's gonna be the first commercial spacewalk. Here's what I was talking about earlier, 700 kilometers above the earth. First ever commercial EVA with SpaceX designed EVA suits. So SpaceX is doing the suits. They're also doing the rocket. They're also doing the capsule. So it's an all in one kind of thing. Um, and they're upgraded suits from the IVA, which is the internal vehicular uh, suit, which is the thing that they use in the Falcon 9 uh, Crew Dragon scenario right now. Building a base on the moon, a city on Mars will require thousands of space suits. The development of the suit in the uh, execution of the EVA will be important steps towards a scalable design for spacesuits on future long duration missions. So they're using the suit technology for this first mission to get to Mars eventually. So these EVA suits, they need these suits to go off planet and to go through the solar system and to get to Mars, which is uh, an incredible feat. But this is the first step. Hey, real quick, if you could hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. But also, YouTube will start recommending you more spaceflight content. And if you hit the subscribe button, they'll send you more SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight content, not only from myself, but from other creators as well. So if you could do those two things, they'll be very helpful. And if you want to, leave a comment below about what you think about the Jared Isaacman mission. At 8.18 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket with 54 Starlink satellites on board. And the countdown to this was kind of ominous. Uh, there was a 40% go due to weather, so SpaceX was holding tight on their launch schedule for that night. The primary weather concerns for Sunday evening's liftoff attempt were the Anvil cloud rule and the disturbed weather rule. And 38 minutes before liftoff, SpaceX had to do a go or no go for this launch. They chose to go. At around 7.49 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX started flowing supercooled liquid oxygen and kerosene into the 230-foot 
tall rocket for the launch. And at 8.18 p.m., SpaceX launched the Falcon 9 rocket with the 54 internet satellites on top of it from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. And about nine minutes into the flight, SpaceX confirmed that the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket landed on their drone ship. Just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of South Carolina. And at 8.36 p.m., SpaceX confirmed the deployment of all 54 Starlink Internet satellites. Now, I want to kind of back up a little bit. And if you're not very familiar with Starlink, let's, let's break this down for you. SpaceX's Internet satellite Starlink will provide broadband Internet connection, gaming speed Internet connection, video streaming Internet connections to the masses that are in rural areas. Say, if you're just out of the reach of a cable company and they won't run a cable to your home, SpaceX Starlink is probably the way you want to go. You can go to Starlink.com and check the availability in your area, but it's a little dish. You post up outside of your house, and as long as it has a clear view of the sky, you have internet connection, and it's fast. The, uh, the, the speeds are, like I was saying before, gaming speeds, and also you can stream numerous devices with Netflix, Hulu, whatever you want to watch. You can watch Lord of the Rings if you want to on Amazon uh, Prime, but you have to have a fast internet connection to do that. And that's what Starlink is all about. So we have a buddy down in Florida, Jedi Master, Jedi M-A-S 49467948 on Twitter, uh, posted this up on their Twitter account and tagged me in it. And I want to show you this. Enjoy, Will. I just filmed this Falcon 9 launch tonight. This is the Falcon 9 launch we were talking about. This is from their yard. So if you live in Florida, this is what you could see from your yard, possibly, if you're close enough, from uh, from the launch. So this is pretty amazing. And when I saw my Falcon 9 launch, I saw the Crew 2 launch go up. And it was a pretty dark morning. But you can see it's like the sun is rising really fast and it's going through the clouds. It just peeked through the clouds there pop through the clouds and it's going to hit max q any second now but you can't see it through the clouds uh thanks jedi master for that video that's really cool i appreciate uh, all your support and i appreciate this video because it's pretty cool to see the local stuff spacex is currently building starship in south texas off the coast of south padre island boca chica beach area starbase texas and with starship they will be able to provide more internet access to rural communities because Starlink V2 fits in a Starship very well. And they'll be able to deploy more Starlinks at the same time than they can do on a Falcon 9 rocket. So in the future, better connectivity because Starlink version 2 offers uh, better connectivity, but also you'll be able to connect via your phone, any sort of phone device that you currently have, Starlink will work with uh, most smartphones and T-Mobile and SpaceX came together and they made that deal. But also SpaceX has been in talks with Apple about this as well. So maybe in the future, in the sort of near future, next few years, once they get Starlink up and in orbit via a uh, Starship, then we're gonna have better connectivity via our phones but they're also working on an hls system which is all for a whole other video but the hls is the starship that lands on the moon so thanks for watching everybody i do appreciate your time i appreciate your subscription and also your like of this video and if you could leave a comment down below what do you think about this video what do you think about jared isaacman and the polaris dawn program i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty groundbreaking and i think it's pretty amazing what they're doing with private space flight so thanks, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey, click on that video link. You'll get more space flight content. And also, we have a shop right there, too. Click on that. Check out our Starship shirts. And also, you can click that circle with my head in it, and that's how you subscribe. Thanks, everybody.